Now we'll be talking about equivalent statements and arguments in this unit on logic. So first, let's talk about equivalent statements. These are statements which have the same truth value in every possible case. So if we were to make truth tables for both statements, and let's say the truth, the truth table comes out to be true, false, false, true in the first case. Well, if the second one comes out to also be true, false, false, true, then we would say that these two statements are equivalent, logically equivalent to each other. However, if, if there was even one thing off, so let's say um, I had true, false, true, true, so this one thing was off, these would not be logically equivalent. So let's look at double negation. Obviously, when we think of double negation, we usually say, well, it's just the positive or, or the um, not negated um, version of that. So we would, our, our uh, conjecture would be that double negation would be equivalent to just regular P. So if I had not not P, we would think that that would be the same as not P. So, um, and again, to, to figure that out, let's use the intermediate step of just not P. Okay, so what are the truth values of just regular old P? Well, I could have true or false. So if I do the second column over, that's false and true. So now for this double negation, I'm negating this column. So that would be true and false. So notice that this column and this column have the same exact truth values, so those two things are logically equivalent. Commutativity. So, reminder about commutativity. In addition, we have commutativity that says A plus B is the same as B plus A. It doesn't matter which order I put them in. Same thing with multiplication. If I have A times B, that's the same thing as B times A. So does that work with our and and or connective, connective words? All right, so in other words, is P or Q equivalent to Q or P? So that's what we're going to be testing with these two columns. And then we're also going to test it for the and. Is P and Q equivalent to Q and P? That's what these will be. Okay, so let's do those right now. So remember the rule for or. For or, we need at least one thing to be true in order for that statement to be true. So this first one is true, then true, third line down, true, and then the last one is false. Now if I do Q or P, I'm still looking at the two same two columns. So this would be true, 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 false. So these two are equivalent. Notice that I'm using three. It looks like an equation with an extra line over it. That just means logically equivalent. It doesn't mean numerically equivalent, so that's why we use an extra line. Okay, and then let's do the ands. For ands, we need them both to be true for them to be true. So this first one's true, then we have false, false, false. And then, again, if I switch them, then the only way that those are both true is, again, the first one and then the rest are false. So these are logically equivalent as well. So and and or, those are both um, commutative. So now let's look at the distributive property. Remember in distributive property, if I had like an, a negative, that would mean that negative x plus negative y. Those are the same thing algebraically. So we want to see if that's true logically, if I have a negation in front of parentheses, is that the same thing as distributing that negation? So we're going to see if these two are logically equivalent. So look at what we're doing. So these are the columns we're going to be comparing. Okay, and notice that I've already got the P and the Q um, ones lined up, and then the not P and the not Q ones lined up as well. I'm also going to do an intermediate step of P and Q. So remember, P and Q, they both have to be true. So that's this first line. And then second, third, and fourth are false. So for this 
column right here. We're going to negate this column. So I'm going to take everything in this one and do the opposite. So that would be false, true, true, true. All right, so now for the last one, we're going to be doing the AND rule for these two columns. All right, so I'm looking at false and false. That would be false. False and true would be false. True and false would be false. And then true and true would be true. So are these two equivalent? No. These are not equivalent. So the distributive property does not work for and. Okay, so let's look at a translation of some words. So if we had um, some statements and we wanted to know, is this saying the same thing? So the first statement, it is not true that the flower is red or the flower is blue. And then the second statement, the flower is not red and the flower is not blue. So we need to see, are those saying the same thing? And something, again, with English, we are not very strict on how we use the English language. But when we say, it is not true that, okay, everything that comes after that, we're saying is not true. So um, symbolically, what we're saying is not P or Q. So you see how I have the or? That's what we're saying in that first statement. And then the second statement, I'm negating the first one and the second one. So you see how that's using that. So P is representing So the flower is red is P, and then the flower is blue is Q, is what we're using for our variables. Okay, so again, I've set up the P, the Q columns, and the negation of P and Qs. So let's do the P or Q intermediate step right now. P or Q, I'm looking at these first two columns. So remember, at least one needs to be true, so that's true, 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 false. Okay, so now I'm negating the column I just did for this first one. So I'm negating, to do this one, I'm negating this first one. So that's false, 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 true. All right, and then for this last one, we're doing an and with these two columns. So and means they both have to be true for it to be true. So this is false, 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 true. So we can see that that is logically equivalent. So notice how this one did. So what happens to be logically equivalent? If I have a negation of P or Q, when I distribute that negation, the or turns into an and. Because if I'm saying it's not true that the flower is red or the flower is blue, when we say that, what we really mean is that both things are not true. So now let's talk about arguments. An argument is an assertion that one statement, that's what we mean by statement is the conclusion, has to follow from a given set of other statements, and that's what we call the premises. premises. All right, so if Dan is a student, then he studies hard. That's one premise. The other premise is Dan is a student. Okay, so then our conclusion should be Dan studies hard. Remember, we did this. This was the law of detachment. So symbolically, if we wanted to test this out, we would be looking at Dan as a student. Those are both P's. And then he studies hard is a Q. So this would look like visually if P then Q. So that's P arrow Q. And then right underneath it, we have just P. And then we have that long line. So that line kind of separates our premises from the conclusion. And then the three little dots in the triangle, that means thus, or in conclusion, or therefore. Therefore, Dan studies hard. So our conclusion is Q. And that's exactly what the law of detachment says. So if this argument is to be what we consider valid, it seems reasonable to say that this statement, if we wrote it really long, so if, and notice that I have these curly brackets, so all of this has to happen. So if Dan is a student implies that he studies hard, so that's P arrow Q, and 
Dan is a student, so if I start the premise, so if I have those pre two premises, this and that, then my conclusion will be Q. So what we're going to be testing in our truth table is this statement. P implies Q and P. If P implies Q and P, then Q. So how do we know if in our truth table that this is what we consider valid? Well, if it's valid, then we will get all true. So that's what we mean by always true. Every single line in our, in our truth table will be true. All right, so let's do some preliminary steps. This is our final one that we'll be looking at. All right, but we're going to do some, I'm going to do that first in the parentheses, the P implies Q. And then I'm going to do the stuff in the brackets, P implies Q and P. So this is the premise part. So that's both premises. And this is just the first premise. And then the last one is the whole statement, is the whole argument. All right, so let's do that. P implies Q. Remember, the only time that it's false, this is like when I said, if you get an A, I'll give you a dollar. The only time that's false is when you get an A and, and uh, I didn't give you a dollar, so that was false here. All the other ones will be true. All right, so now I'm going to take this column right here and do the AND rule with this column, P. So AND means they both have to be true for it to be true. So that's first one, true and true. That's true. True and false. That's false. False and true. That's false. False and true. That is false. All right. So that's with both premises. Now we have to do the argument. So now we're going to be doing this column implies this column. So I'm looking at those two columns. And it might be difficult if, if, if some of you need to recopy the Q right here. It might, it might help you to see that because we're used to when P implies Q, what comes first is important. So it might help you to make a, a second column right there for the Q. So true then true, that is true. Remember, the only thing that would be false is if we have first true, then false. So the rest of these start with false. So we know that that is true, that is true, that is true. So you can see how our final outcome, our final truth table result, are all trues. So that means this is a valid argument. All right, our, our whole statement, if we start with those premises and end in that conclusion, that will always be true, no matter what the specifics are. So later in class, we'll be doing more of these um, of these arguments and seeing whether they're valid.